In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up your part in the vise and also how to set up your end mill in RA Collet and install that into the spoon. First, let's talk about your part. The saw cut, but you have two factory edges you can clamp onto using your curd vise. First thing you always want to do is you want to clean your curd vise out, make sure there's no chips or any foreign matter in it. But as you can see, as you install your part, it's below your hardened jaws. So that's where we come in and use what they call parallels. So you pick a certain size parallel and you make sure they're clean as well. You install those in your vise, put your part in your vise and tighten down the vise hand. You take your dead blow hammer and you just tap your part down. That makes sure that your part is sitting as accurately as it can on these parallels that you put inside the vice jaw. And as you can see, they're in there pretty good. Now, you have a half inch end mill and a half inch RA collar. You take the end mill and you just insert it into your collar. You do not want to stop short where there's a flat on the collar. You want to make sure that this end mill is being grabbed by the collet 360 degrees. So you put your end mill in your collet, you take your collet and your end mill, make sure there's no foreign matter also inside your spindle. You put that whole assembly into your spindle, you take your draw bar and you just turn it clockwise. And tighten it up by hand. You take your wrench, and you hold your brake. Now remember your brake is either forward or backwards. It doesn't matter which way you hold the brake as long as you hold it forward or backwards. You put your wrench on your draw bar, you do a quarter turn clockwise, and then go. Do another quarter turn clockwise. Now put your wrench back up. Now your end mill is securely fastened inside of your spindle. Your part is as accurate as can be made onto your box jaw. Now you're ready to start machining.